Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I move to strike the last word. This is an election year, and while both sides claim to support election integrity, we must take action to actually make a difference. The bill before us today is a critical step in ensuring our elections remain safe and free from undue foreign influence. By now, it's become clear that the Chinese Communist Party is the chief agitator working to influence our elections and our American way of life. We've passed bipartisan legislation twice to decouple TikTok from the Chinese Communist Party. We've held hearings in this committee and in others looking at our country's competition with China. And we've documented evidence of the CCP and other bad actors supporting U.S.-based nonprofit organizations to prop themselves up and to tear our country down. Unfortunately, there are some of these 501c3s right here in the United States that are run by bad actors who aren't seeking to help our society but tear at its very fabric. To give just one example, there's a U.S. foundation established by an openly Marxist businessman residing in China who brags of his close ties to the CCP that exists for the sole purpose of funding organizations to the tune of tens of millions of dollars per year with pro-CCP sentiments. This businessman's wife also co-founded a 501c3 that supports numerous activists and openly condemns telling the truth about the CCP, including their internment and maltreatment of the Uyghur people. The dangers of these CCP-funded and fueled nonprofits are numerous, but their impacts on public policy and our elections could be catastrophic for years to come. The best way to rid ourselves of these ill-intended groups that operate under the guise of 501c3s is to support transparency. The No Foreign Election Interference Act does precisely that, and that's why I'm fully supporting it. Instead of allowing a foreign nationals to skirt our campaign contribution laws by founding and funding these tax-exempt organizations, we should ensure that no foreign national or country can attempt to buy our elections through propaganda and deceit. I realize this might be too much to ask in today's polarized political climate, but I hope my friends on the left will join me in supporting this common sense legislation. Not doing so would appear to be siding with the CCP and remaining complicit in allowing foreign bad actors to circumvent existing laws for the sake of accepting foreign cash. With that, Mr. Chairman, I yield back.